Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I'm delighted this afternoon to be joined by Mr. Tarek Kamel, Senior Advisor to the President and CEO for Government and IGO Engagement at ICANN. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you very much for inviting us and we are delighted to be here. Fantastic. So it's been 15 years since the first phase of WISIS and the adoption of the Geneva Plan of Action. How do you reflect on, on ICANN's work and uh, your collaboration with other stakeholders over the past decade and a half? Well, uh, uh, we are uh, very happy and delighted to be invited by uh, ITU leadership and the Secretary General to partner for the fifth year uh, uh, for the WISIS Forum as ICANN. And uh, indeed, uh, this year we are also uh, more happy to see more global international participation, specifically at uh, the opening uh, from uh, the UN leadership, uh, the uh, Deputy Secretary General, as well as the World Bank and several other uh, organizations that are participating in this event uh, for the first time. This shows really that the agenda of the WISIS Forum is becoming uh, wider uh, in spectrum, in coverage, and it is also being linked to the Sustainable Development Goals implementation and the agenda of 2030. So uh, it is very important that we don't talk only about the past, the last 15 years, but about the next 15 years uh, as well. And here I see uh, the WISIS uh, doing the right bridge, the WISIS Forum doing the right bridge, specifically this year when uh, connecting to the Sustainable Development Goals and the Agenda 2030. ICANN is very happy as a technical organization to be among the stakeholders uh, that are participating to uh, the WISIS Forum uh, process uh, in preparation as well as in the different sessions uh, with governments, private sector, civil society and academic community uh, and businesses as well. I think you are stressing something important here is the fact that WISIS is a global multi-stakeholder platform and in order to build a real knowledge and information society you need collaboration between all the stakeholders, don't you? Indeed. And this is what we have been witnessing here at uh, WISIS very effectively uh, within uh, the uh, last years and uh, um, uh, gives also the event more and more momentum. ICANN, for example, is contributing uh, with a very special topic related to internationalized domain names, IDNs, uh, as such in Arabic, in uh, Cyrillic, in Chinese, and in several other languages. What would this effect? This affects very uh, clearly the development of local content. The next billion internet users, as we all know, will come from the global south, as we call it, or from the emerging economies. So it is important that uh, we provide uh, to these new coming uh, one billion internet users con uh, content in their own languages that uh, reflects to their own needs and their own requirements and their own demands within their regions, in addition to accessing global uh, content. So we are happy to participate in that, to talk with the ITU and with other stakeholders as well about capacity building in underserved regions. This has been one of the hi highlights of the event and ICANN uh, has participated actively within these deliberations and we look forward for further cooperation with the global multi-stakeholder community in uh, the uh, capacity building and the overall uh, development of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals Agenda. Mr. Tarek Kamal, thank you very much. Thank you for having me and uh, we wish the event further success. Thank you.